I'm here with Midi TV and I'm here at the moment with Funky and the two-tone baby. Baby, good evening. How baby. Baby, singular baby. The baby never turns One up. singular baby, but you did have a chimp. I did have a chimp, yeah. yeah. I do have the odd monkey. The hype chimp. <laughs> the hype chimp. Everyone needs one. There's been a time where I had an army of them on stage with the Fort Knox, wasn't it? Yeah, my yeah. goodness. You find out you ask people to do do things, to dress up and come to certain yeah. things, and people will do it. And they're actually into it. It's yeah. like pretty privilege, but musician privilege. It's cool, it's nice. Mm, you always ask yeah. people, and people will go out there wanting to do things for you. It's very nice. Is that your favourite part of the of choosing this as your lifestyle part. <laughs> what, I get to force people to yeah, do things Yeah, that people... No, it's, it's a little sneaky perk. <laughs> it's a superpower I didn't realise I had until... Oh, I yes. Know. What is your favourite part, then? Of my of, of the job? Mm. It, it's a real difficult one. I mean, part of the, uh, the... The gigging is obviously wonderful, but in terms of the actual breakdown of what you do as a musician, the gigging is like 5% mm, of the total yeah. thing of it. So that bit is always such a wonderful part. I love the uh, the travel, get to see beautiful places, meet lovely people. It's a very social job. It really is. <laughs> I mean, if I wasn't doing this, I'd never go to meet you. I'd never meet a lot of the organisers here and the same with the acts. Mm. You do it for long enough, you build a wonderful yeah, network of people. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, for sure. And so you've been doing this for? 11 years now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I started, left, left university and when I uh, started doing this straight away, started uh, got a PA, started doing pub gigs in Kent, got an hour and a half's worth of covers, and that evolved for a couple of years into doing small festivals, mm -hmm. and then 11 years later, yeah, I'm doing big festivals and yeah. doing my own shows and stuff. It's interesting, so you started with covers originally. Yeah. That's a great uh, place to start, I think, because it helps you get your own sound, but you don't have to do, uh, you can still be creative, but you don't have to create everything from the, yeah, absolutely. And it was an easy way at the time, straight out of university, for mm. me to make a buck. Yeah. Like at yeah. the time, do an hour and a half set, get 150 quid. Yeah. If you can do that three times a week. Yeah. For a month, yeah, you, that's a, that's a living. And that's yeah, covers. And then over the time, I started slipping more of my own songs into it. Yeah. And then yeah, I'd have the audacity to go into a pub and play like a set of my own <laughs> stuff. Do you ever slip in an odd cover every now and then in your own? No, set? I haven't done for a while. No. For a long while. Is there any that you miss? I used to do a good cover of Painted Black. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was all. I did it yeah. in my own kind of style. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. something. Funny enough, I've been doing it so long that people still come to my shows now and still quote me to play that song. <laughs> yeah. cool. And so, I mean, I guess they're all pretty high energy. What would you class your music as in genre? <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is the big question. <laughs> yeah. It must be pigeonholed <laughs> for the sake of people's brains or it will explode. <laughs> also, I've, I've, just I've just released an album this year and we've uh, I've had a PR company involved and I've had an agent and stuff. Oh, so and we've, yeah. we've had a big like team of people all trying to write mm. a little snippet as to how I can yeah. do it. And no one can. No one can decide who I am. I had a review earlier this year that said oh, I was like Acid House. Mm. Right? Something which said I was hip hop, which is <laughs> nothing like hip hop. <laughs> but the, uh, the genre of constraint, I don't to me, it all sounds like me. Mm, yeah. So it doesn't really, I don't think I yeah. fit around genres too much, but apparently it does. It has a heavy dance thing, a kind of bluesy thing, a reggae thing. Well, that's just the name, like, you know, David Barrison was saying about how you pull from a bunch of different things, put your own magic in it, bam, and then that's how you create the music. Exactly. So it would make more sense that it's got a lot of different um, influences, and you can kind of listen to lots of bands and be like, that tiny little bit yeah. sounded like this, or, and if you write something cool, I mean, I'd, I, I couldn't imagine shelving it because, mm. oh, that's not in the genre yeah, yeah. kind of work. <laughs> if it sounds good, you can write a song for me. Yeah, then yeah, for go sure. for it. You've already got your niche, you're you. Exactly, yeah. So you don't, you can, whatever you produce. Although I think if you went to classical now, you might lose some of your fan base. Not all, only some. I, I could, mm. we could get into sonatas pretty quick. Oh, goodness, let's go then. <laughs> <laughs> So you're just saying that you had an album last year. Are you doing more of this uh, album writing and album producing in the years? So, so I've literally just uh, released it on the 20th of October. Mm -hmm. I've just finished a tour to promote it. I've got the second tour to promote it mm -hmm. uh, in April. Then another summer's worth of festivals. The aim is to have the next one out by spring 25. Okay, good. So at least you've got a bit of resting room to still focus on this one for a while. You're not yes, just going to... Done it! Boom! It's, been, it's boom. been so much effort and so much work to get it out. Mm. I'm so happy with it. Yeah. Just letting it exist yeah, in the world. Yeah, breathe, have some time, yeah, have its moment. And it's gone, yeah, by the time 
it won't be till next festival season that I will get to play it to like mm. a lot of people. Yeah. And that'll be hopefully when they'll start discovering the record. Yeah, well we can start now. What's it called and where can we find it? It's called Reacclimate. It is uh, available on all digital platforms, Spotify and iTunes. Vinyl? It is available on vinyl. Yeah, the first time I've ever the first time I've ever done vinyl. Mm -hmm. uh, they look they look fantastic. It's oh, got a yeah. kind of yellow cover and it's gorgeous. Have you kept one on the wall? Yeah, I have actually. Good. <laughs> <Yeah>. Good. <laughs> so um, where do we find you on social media? Uh, funky and the two tone baby. Funky with an E. Only? Facebook. Instagram, TikTok. So I'm saying, I'm saying, tic, I'm saying TikTok now. TikTok. I'm, uh, I've been forced to do TikTok apparently. Yes, dude, you must. Because you don't, you must make YouTube shorts and TikTok. It's quite good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I still can't get my head around it. I'm still. You're gonna have to it. start filming your breakfast, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm stuck in the era of uh, Instagram. Oh, uh, I'm stuck in uh, MySpace. So. Oh, that's done. Yeah. Actually, Bebo. Take it back and Bebo. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So, and let me just ask you a little bit more about uh, where you're going to be next year and what kind of things you're getting up to. So, have you got a bit of a break and then you're going? Yeah. So to I've, the got, festivals? I've got I've uh, got I've got some nice tours. I'm supporting uh, EMF. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These shows have just come off stage. Well, <laughs> I'm doing three dates with them. I've got uh, eleven dates with Dub Pistols, and that's going to be uh, February to March. Then I've got my own tour, uh, April till May, and then looking at summer now. I've got yeah, about nine to ten festivals sense. currently booked in. We're looking at a big chunk more. Mm, yeah. Blimey, we may see you around again then. I'll it's doing well. Yeah, I'll but snatch use you for another one of these, but slightly Absolutely. Yeah, slightly later in the I mean, yeah. Midi, Midi TV wants to follow me around for the summer. I'll oh, take, brilliant. I'll Fantastic. Fantastic. That sounds like a yes. I'm just going to yeah. whisper weird things in your ear. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the whole year. And if you can survive it, you get to play your album at the festival. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. You're welcome. <laughs> Bigged up by Midi TV. I'd have your little banner. Yes, you must need one of these. And wear only Midi TV t shirts from now on. Yeah. <laughs> no Dream Theatre. I love <laughs> 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 well, I mean, you must be absolutely knackered because you definitely get your cardio in during that set, and so does your hype monkey. I kind of want to be a hype monkey. Hype monkey. You can be a hype monkey. What well, is it actually called? Is there an actual? No, it's, it's, just, it's just a monkey. I'd actually call it a hype chimp. Hype chimp. I do like it's hype chimp. A bit flowier. I love hype chimp. As long as you get a mask and have a desire to dance around, then you're more than welcome. Don't go too hard for the start. Right, yeah. Oh, a bit kind of oh, gentle. Up, yeah, yeah. About an eight minutes old, and you're okay. in a big latex mask. Yeah. Don't go too old. Oh, Easy you can set yourself. Oh, I need a little watch timer so I know exactly where I am in the process. <laughs> yeah, excellent. <laughs> but always up for monkeys. Come monkey for me. Oh, fantastic. You'll see me uh, in a couple of seconds. <laughs> see me next year, being a hype chimp. I really appreciate you coming on My this absolute evening. Pleasure. I'm going to set you free back into the free. wild. To look at all the erect tails and the thank you very much and the wild the costumes. Thank you so much for coming on. My pleasure. We see you later, maybe. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.